Hello, lovely ladies, and welcome to day three of the All or Nothing Challenge. Today, I'm talking about feelings. And you might be saying, Amanda, like, why? what do feelings have to do with all or nothing mindset? And my answer is everything. And today, I'm going to teach you why and feel like I'm not in touch with them. I don't know them. Then I'm going to invite you to really think about this being a huge intervening factor of why you might be stuck. For me, this connection that I'm going to share today changed everything about my life. It helped me get over my yo-yo experiences when it came to food. I have a stronger marriage because of it. I'm building a growing, thriving business. I am a better parent because of it. Everything about my life changed when I made today's connection, and I'm hoping that I can help you do the same. And this is a massive piece of my coaching that we utilize and tap into on a constant basis to get to the root cause. While we only have five quick days together, today I'm hoping that you have a big shift. So here's why feelings are important. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm a parent, maybe you are too, and if you're not, I'm sure you can find a way that this fits in, this example fits in. But imagine my kids are running around the house screaming at the top of their lungs. And immediately this thought pops into my head of like, these kids are driving me crazy. And when I think that thought, these kids are driving me crazy, the feeling I get in my body is like overwhelm might even be frustration, but overwhelm to me comes up as like a more prevalent, intense emotion. So when I feel overwhelmed, then the action I take is I yell at my kids. I raise my voice and I yell. And when I yell, then what happens is they don't necessarily respond. They're not engaged. I don't communicate them with them. And as a result, then the kids like continue to scream and my thought is they're driving me nuts is it continues and it perpetuates the same result of me not really clearly communicating with them and them still making me feel overwhelmed. So why is this important? Because this plays out in everything that you do. The thoughts that we think drive a feeling and it's that feeling that drives us to do something. So you see the letters here. Let me move this over slightly. Let me adjust my camera again, all or nothing right here messy action, name of the game. So the thought creates a feeling and that determines action. And today we're going to work on two of these things. What we're going to see is check in with some of those thoughts that we're thinking when it comes to all or nothing thinking. And we're going to really assess how they make us feel. So I'm going to use some examples that might come up with all or nothing thinking. Um, some thought might be, I might as well eat it all. Or might be, I already messed up, so screw it. <laughs> um, it might be something like, there's so much to do. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is complete chicken scratch, but just keep rolling with it. I'm writing fast. Um, another one is like the holidays cost so much. Um, another one might be like, it isn't good enough. Or it could even be like, I'll wait <clears throat> until January. So these are all thoughts that come up that really are the root of what keeps us from thriving in the middle. We start to see mistakes or missed opportunities, or we start to tell ourselves these thoughts, and they drive a specific feeling. So our homework today is to really look at those thoughts. I want you to think about those thoughts from yesterday, but also dredge up, like think about all the situations and opportunities you have um, that bring up all or nothing thinking. And I want you to download them on the workbook page. Notice you have a page that says thought and feeling versus feeling over here. And then what I invite you to do is actually say the thought out loud or keep it in your brain. And I want you to check in on like what's actually happening in your body. When you think that thought, how do you feel? And I want you to notice, I'm not looking for another thought. I'm looking for a feeling. And feelings are like vibrations, 
um, that you can feel in your body. You might even feel like physical, like, like when I was talking about my yelling example, by the way, just an example, I can like feel it in my chest. So when I think um, I might as well like eat it all, for me, that feels like defeat. And I already messed up, so like screw it. That feels like indifference. When I think the thought, there's so much to do, for me, I feel that in my chest and it leads to immediate overwhelm. Or the holidays cost so much, that makes me feel sad. And if I think the thought, it isn't good enough, then I feel, checking in on how I feel, it isn't good enough, makes me feel, I think, sad again. Or I'll, I'll just wait until January makes me feel shame. You know what? This one actually makes me feel guilt. It isn't good enough. So notice, these are all thoughts that are optional. These are thoughts you choose to think. There's over 50,000 on average thoughts that go through our mind every day. So imagine if you had the capacity to actually tune in to what every single thought was happening. And this is why we get stuck, is we don't. We don't think that this is important because we don't know. For so much of our life, we've been just focusing on the doing. Just do to get my results. And so through this challenge, I'm gonna show you that this is what's stopping you is you're not tuning in to these two things. And tomorrow, I'm going to show you why the feeling part is determining everything that you do in your life. So your homework assignment today is to go to that page in the uh, workbook that says thought and feeling. You're gonna take the thoughts if you want them from yesterday, that's cool. Or just think of and brainstorm all the thoughts that might come up over the next two months, the next year, I don't care. Thoughts that are coming up frequently in your mind that are stopping you from having the results you want in your life. And as you list those thoughts, First, I then want you to reconnect to, to the feeling, the feeling that comes up when you choose to think that thought and list that feeling in your workbook. And again, I'm gonna come at you later with a little reflection question to see how things are coming along. So cheers to another day of the challenge.